Hello, girls and boys. Welcome to Storytime Fun. We hope you enjoy it. Today's story is called Katie's Babbling Brother by H.J. Hutchins and Ruth Owie. Katie had a little brother whom she loved dearly, except that he was a babbler. He stayed awake from seven in the morning until nine at night, which was exactly how long Katie stayed awake. And all the time, except when he was eating, and sometimes even then, he babbled. No one knew what he was saying because he didn't really say anything. He just practiced sounds. Sounds. He practiced sounds like blubble and grumph and eagle, and he strung them all together. So the sounds went on and on and on. Blubble de user, grumph eagle, did a snork him, zod, zab, yap, 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 yap. When Katie asked someone to please pass the milk, nobody heard her because Norman was saying glibble snibblerk. When Katie wanted to tell someone about great adventure she had had, everybody got the story wrong because Norman would throw in about 100 blibble yup yup subs to confuse things. When Katie wanted to watch her favorite TV show, it was hopeless. Young babbling Norman was right in there talking louder and faster than anyone on the screen. Katie decided something needed to be done. She went to the corner store. The lady who worked there was very understanding. This won't solve things entirely, but it will make the problem a lot smaller, said the lady. And it won't hurt him a bit. What do I do? asked Katie. Shake it on your brother's bare toes, said the lady. Katie went home and shook the secret ingredient all over Norman's toes. The lady was right. Katie's problem got smaller and smaller and smaller. This was not quite what Katie had expected. She put her ear very close to Norman. He was still babbling, so she knew he was all right. <laughs> she picked him up very carefully and carried him into the kitchen. At the back of the counter were two empty baby food jars. Katie put Norman inside one of the jars so he wouldn't get lost. She got her magnifying glass and peered in at him. Yes, he was all right. Katie made a large hole in the lid just in case Norman needed extra air. Then she went to talk to her mother. You know, said Katie sitting down beside her mother, Norman talks an awful lot. I know, said Katie's mother. Sometimes it drives me crazy. It does? asked Katie. Yes, said her mother. I love him dearly, but lately it seems like every time I try to listen to what someone is telling me, I can't hear properly because Norman is right in there saying blubble up, blubble up, blubble up. And when I try to talk, whatever I say gets all mixed up because Norman is going glibly up. Blop. I can't even listen to the news on the radio anymore because I can't hear it above all the babble. Thank goodness he'll grow out of it soon. He will? asked Katie. Yes, said her mother. Pretty soon he'll be able to understand us better and we'll be able to understand him better, and he'll learn to take turns, just like everyone else. By the way, uh, this is the first time I've been able to talk to you in weeks without being interrupted. Where is Norman? Katie showed her mother the jar. Her mother unscrewed the lid and put her ear close to the opening. He's still babbling, so he must be all right, she said. Except I don't like very much like, like him like that. Do you? 
asked Katie. No, said her mother. I think I'll go back to the store, said Katie. Katie went back to the store and asked for something to make her problem a regular-sized one again. How small did the problem actually get? asked the lady behind the counter. Very small, said Katie. Hmm, only the true outstanding problems get very small, said the lady sympathetically. She reached under the counter and found a pair of earplugs, which she handed to Katie, along with the secret ingredient. Good luck, she said. Katie never did use the earplugs. She discovered that even though Norman still babbled nonstop, it no longer bothered her as much now that she knew other people understood how she felt about it. She and her mother learned to sneak out of the glass doors when Norman was playing happily in the kitchen. That way, they could still see he was safe, but they didn't have to listen to him babble. The funny thing was that when they did that, sometimes they didn't even talk to each other at all. Sometimes they just sat side by side together, quietly. And Norman did grow out of the babbling. In fact, in time, he grew into one of the biggest friends Katie ever had. Well, that's it for today. We'll see you next time.